What's going on, everybody? Gourmet here. Today, I have got a very, very good goals galore 424 for you guys called the 424 Grogu. Tested with Norwich City, also tested with Barcelona. Barcelona only lost one game, and Norwich would have only lost one game if they didn't have bad form at the end of the season. But they both ended up winning their leagues. So very, very happy with what this tactic produces. And it produces goals on goals on goals. So you guys are going to absolutely love this. If you guys happen to enjoy today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is 100% free, so I want to hit that sub button. Also, if you guys would like to download this tactic, I'll be linking my Discord down below in the description. That is where you guys will be able to find the tactic at. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first club we're going to go over is Norwich City. Now they won the league on 117 points, scoring 136 goals in the league. They lost five games because they lost four out of their last five, unfortunately. But besides that, they had one heck of a season. And when it comes to that goals column, they dwarfed the next team for most goals. Norwich had 136 goals for Watford, only 80. Norwich City were also in most possession with 55%. They were also in most dribbles made, coming in 5th with 797. And they had 17 clean sheets overall coming in 5th. When we look at overall player performances, Timu Puki and Adam Ida both had 32 goals each, and Josh Sargent had 21. For most assists, Marcelino Nunez had 14, Timo Puki with 13, Dimitris Giannoulis with 11, same with Josh Sargent. Most part of the match performances, Timu Puki had 10 and Adam Ida with 7. Most key passes, Marcelino Nunez absolutely blew away everyone else. He had 228, next highest was 123, but we do have another player on here and that is Max Ahrens with 108. For most dribbles made, the wingbacks from this tactic performed very, very well. Max Ahrens with 186 and Demetrius Giannoulis with 153. And Tim Krul had 14 of those 17 clean sheets. Now looking overall throughout all competitions on how the squad did, Timu Puki had 37 goals, Adam Ida with 34, Josh Sargent 23, Todd Cantwell with 15, and Grant Hanley with 10. Assist wise, Marcelino Nunez had 15, then Daniel Sinani and Timu Puki both had 14, Adam Ida with 13, Josh Sargent with 12, Demetrius Giannoulos with 11, and Max Ahrens with 10. The highest average rating for the squad was Mr. Timu Puki with a 7.59. Getting into the second club that we tested with, with FC Barcelona. They won La Liga on 103 points. They had 143 goals for, which is absolutely insane. They only lost one game to Valencia 2-0, and unfortunately it was within their last five games, or else they would have had one heck of an invincible season. Now, they had 143 goals overall within the league, and Real Madrid were second with 86. So, big difference right there. They were also in most dribbles made with 638 coming in fifth, and came in fifth for most clean sheets with 14. Player-wise, Robert Lewandowski lived up to his nickname that Thomas Muller gave him of Robert Lewandowski. He had 57 goals within the league, which the next highest after that was 24 from Edinson Cavani. Memphis Depay was also in there in the top four. He had 18 goals. Most assists, Usman Dembele had 21, Rafinha with 13. Then we have Memphis Depay with 11 and Jordi Alba with 10. Mr. Robert Lewandowski had 16 player of the match performances, blowing everyone else away. Most key passes, Rafinha with 123, Usman Dembele with 105, and Jordi Alba with 95. And for most clean sheets, Mark andre Ter Stegen was in there. He came in fifth with 13 of those 14 clean sheets. Now looking at how the whole team performed throughout all competitions, Robert Lewandowski had 67 goals overall. Memphis Depay with 25, Farron Torres with 15, Usman Dembele with 13. Usman Dembele also had 22 assists, the most on the team. Rafinha had 15, Jordi Alba 13, Memphis Depay with 10, not 10, 12, and Ansu Fati had 10. Average rating-wise, though, Lewandowski had a 8.17 throughout all competitions, which is absolutely insane. His average match rating within La Liga was a 8.37, which is just, those are monster numbers. Now, besides just winning the league, Barcelona also won the Spanish Super Cup. They did get knocked out early on in the Champions League, unfortunately, but at least they went through, which in reality they did not. Uh, they got knocked out by Liverpool, unfortunately for them. But for me, a Liverpool fan, that is pretty nice. But now let's get on to the tactic. 
So like I said earlier, it is called the 424 Grogu. Very, very attacking. It's played with a positive mentality, but you can definitely use an attacking mentality. But to get that little bit of defensive edge with it, definitely go positive. Would not recommend going balanced. Definitely stick positive or attacking because this tactic is absolutely absurd. But getting into the tactic, we've got an advanced forward on attack up top with a pressing forward on attack up top. You're definitely going to want to have one strong striker and then one pacey striker. That is kind of how Norwich City and Barcelona got away with using this tactic is that they are that is how the striker duo was working. It's very, very good. And then we got two inside forwards on attack, a deep line playmaker on support with a ball in midfielder on support. Two wingbacks on attack, two central defenders on defend, and a sweep keeper also on defend. Getting into player instructions though, the advanced forward on attack all I added to him was shoot more often. It is the exact same thing with the pressing forward on attack, all that I added to him as well was shoot more often. Both inside forwards on attack have crosses aimed at center and shoot more often. The deep line playmaker on support, which is a left-sided central midfielder, has cross crosses aimed at the far post. The ball winning midfielder on support, which is the right central midfielder, has crosses aimed at the far post as well. Both wingbacks on attack have crosses aimed at center and shoot more often. Both central defenders on defend were left as is, and the sweep keeper on defend was also left as is. Now, when we are in possession, it is played with a fairly narrow attacking width, overlap on the left and the right, slightly shorter passing directness, slightly higher tempo, and low crosses in the final third. When in transition, counter press, counter distribute quickly by taking short kicks. And once out of possession, the defensive shape has a high press line of engagement, standard defensive line, and more often trigger press, aka more often pressing intensity. So the set pieces for this tactic are my elite set pieces for FM23. I make a variation of them every single year that I've been doing football manager content, so that's FM21, 22, now 23 made a video for it which is the previous video if you guys would like to check it out i'll be linking it at the end of the video as well as down in the description for you guys to check out if you guys want to see how i go about making my set pieces and whatnot but first before you guys do that let's see how the tactic performs within the match engine
So, as we can see from the match engine, this tactic is absolutely insane attacking-wise. Um, the Barcelona game, I did not realize that they were annihilating teams like they were with it. I mean, there was a game against Mallorca that they beat them 8-0, but the one that I chose to show you guys was when they beat Getafe 9-0, and Lewandowski had six goals. It's absolutely insane. Norwich City also look absolutely unbelievable, so definitely make sure to give this tactic a go. Once again, it's called the 424 Grogu. That is what it will be called in the discord when you guys go to download it if you guys wish to do so but if you guys did happen to enjoy today's video please leave a like comment and subscribe subscribe is 100 free and until next time have a good one bye bye